Yeah, let's testify and give glory to God. Yeah, go first. Brother David, I'd like to thank the Lord. This morning, I'd like to thank the Lord. Yes, and uh, I can praise Him all day and, and for a good week and just keeping uh, his, his presence all the time with us in this holy Brisbane prayer group. It's a powerful group. And uh, I'd like to thank the Lord that He chose us as His sheep. And uh, we just keep, uh, just keep praising. The Lord he keeps it keeps us healthy, our, our precious gift, and also um, the uh, the blood of Jesus all over us. Yes, and absolutely. yeah, just constant. Uh, I we can't I can't I and I'm sure we we all can't. Uh, go, it's a blessing that we cannot do without him, and um, it's just uh, we just carry this precious gift. To, uh, throughout our lives on this earth, and yes. we'll, and uh, and our destiny will be in the light, uh, in His light, in the kingdom of God. And I thank Him very much that He chose Amen. us for His love and His mercy and His grace. And Amen. and we um, meet Him, and on, on, we agree with the Holy Spirit that He's our one true God. Even the devil believes that there's only one. God, I thank you for the blessing, and I thank everyone for your for their uh, knowledge in the Word that we also that we also able to um, be aware and recognize. Like uh, even if we, if we go to a different like certain churches, or do, we can recognize a certain pastor if he's not true in the Word of God, the signs and things that they that then uh, that the the Bible, which is the word of God, says, you know, how to um, distinguish a um, false prophet. And I think, and I thank the Lord for that knowledge as well. So you always, the Holy Spirit, for interceding on our behalf and give us all the knowledge in the scriptures. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everyone. And thanks for your first holy Christmas prayer group. All glory to God. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, brother. Yes, brother. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank and praise the Lord for his faithfulness, for answering every prayer. My Jesus is the king and center of my heart and my household, and Mama Mary is the queen of my home. I have been asking the Lord to fill me inside out with his sweet perfume. And last Friday, when you said that the Jesus, the presence of the Lord will come like scent of roses. It was like answered prayer for me. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, the scent I received was uh, strong and light, strong and light. And even on the, ne the next day morning in the bathroom, also I got the scent of the roses. Thank you, Jesus. And the anointing seems to be continuing. Thank you, Jesus. On Sunday, I, I was receiving that see a kind of anointing. And... Uh, I saw myself in the church with my arms lifted and then I saw a white horse coming running towards me and then many more white horses behind and I believe the Lord has released angels on my for helping me and for all the needy all over the world thank you above father thank you Lord Jesus and also I saw myself like a small child and uh, the sacred heart and that too in the church and the sacred heart of Jesus so close this was on Sunday so close and in the air it was written Jesus I love you thank you Jesus he give, he showers his love every time and then on Wednesday again I saw myself like a Kashmiri maiden with my apron full of flowers and I'm just offering those flowers at Abba Father's feet thank you Abba Father because the Holy Spirit prays through on our behalf perfect prayers because when we don't know how to pray, the Holy Spirit intercedes on our behalf. And they are like flowers. They are like sweet incense offering to the Lord. So thank you, Abba Father, for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. And then another time I saw two women. One lady was, I, I, do, I have never seen her before. And the other one I know. And both were weeping. And I was just saying the joy of the Lord is our strength. 
So thank you, Lord, for so many gifts and graces. And I share this with all my brothers and sisters all over the world. Thank you, Abba Father. All glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Lord. Amen. Thank, thank you. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Yes, who else would like to share? Come on, let's share what the Lord has Brother, done for you. Vivek. Yes, Newton, go ahead. Brother Vivek, I want to tell you that uh, the third time I'm telling that the parents are coming so many and I have to hide in my house because they continuously want to, they say, we don't want the school bus, we want your bus only. Okay, and as you me. said the statement, the blessings overtake me. It is overtaking me so much that I can't hold in my hands. I don't know what to do. Praise Brother, God. now here comes a prosecution on my way, which I had to go. I do two schools, and in one school, the, the nuns run by the Holy Cross Convent School nuns. They stopped all of us, private van, uh, the, the people, uh, the private van people to come in and collect the children. And I was getting late to go to another school. And it happened worse to worse. Sister said that none of you are going to enter the school premises at all. And I was so worried. I said, finally, I have to give up on one school. Since God, you are, Jesus, you have blessed me with so many children, but I have to give up. And the things were so, so fearful. I was, didn't know what to do. And I started praying. And as I prayed to the Lord, things became worse day by day. I used to reach late to the next school and parents used to tell me, you're coming late. And one day, I called up Brother Lawrence and asked him, Shall, what shall I do for this? He gave me a scripture to read. And uh, he said me to say, the, the Spirit of the Lord is upon Sister Snail, the principal of the pre primary section of the Holy Cross Convent School. And God's favor is upon me. Thank you, G. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for transforming the heart of Sister Snail with mercy and compassion towards me. And Jesus, I thank you for I'm going and collecting the children from the school premises. And he said for me, it will take one week at least to be activated with this prayer. Take the rosary on the rosary beads, recite this prayer. It will take one week. You don't expect it to happen instantly. I went to the school. I sat in the bus and I had to sing the rosary. And before I said, Lord, I believe that whatever I'm praying now is been activated in the name of Jesus. And just for the Vivek, as I said, the entire rosary beats with those words. When I went to the school, sister saw me with love and compassion in her eyes. She said, please come in and take the children and go from the school. The yes, Lord God. touched the sister and a mighty blessing came. And I was on time to the next school. But the persecution, brother, that came on me was so much. I was physically tired, mentally tired. Yes. I just could see Jesus, brother, in me, you know. I could see him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Newton. See, you're a powerful warrior, and we are yes. we are going to see such persecution come our way. So we got to be yes. ready and be prepared. And that's why it's important to sit sit and also attend the whole prayer meeting because God speaks to you. So I will tell you one thing: many people come, give testimonies, and run away, thinking that okay, I yeah. give my testimony. The Lord speaks to you through the prayer meeting. I may be teaching you something, but the Holy Spirit will give you another revelation. And that yes. could be a powerful revelation for your life. It could be a word that would save your life or your business or take you to the next level in your faith. So it's important yes. that you understand that the Lord is teaching us. It's not Brother Vivek who is teaching. I have no power, no strength. I only surrender myself to the Lord. And he does. He gives us all that we need, more than what we need for our, you know, for our daily consumption, for our daily life, everything that we need. So Newton, you're being blessed. The, the, I would again prophesy that the blessings will overtake you. But just Amen. remember, focus on Jesus. Don't focus on the persecution. Change your yeah. focus. Don't look at the storm. Look at the Lord. Because the Lord is the control over the storm. So yes. just look at him and say, Jesus, everything is under control. I speak your name. Just remember, Newton, the Holy Spirit told me, just speak the name Jesus three times and you see how the anointing will flow. And we spoke the name Jesus and how many Amen. people anointing all across the world, just the word Jesus. So whenever you go through this, just speak the name Jesus. Newton, I don't want you to say anything more than that. Just speak the name Jesus. Okay, what are you telling Peter. Jesus? Take over. Take charge. I can't do it. Take it. You take it, Lord. 
he's waiting for you to give it so it's it's a question of surrender newton at that point of time yes. and remember all this takes you to the next level of your faith so you grow and you go to the next level so god is using you to a next level now be happy the next level of anointing is coming upon you amen okay amen yes but thank you yeah god bless you okay thank you jesus yes who else praise jesus brother blanche here yeah yeah blanche brother. praise the lord brothers and sisters uh so last friday as uh, brother vivek was invoking the name of jesus the face of jesus became so real it was so close to me and i was surrounded by cool breeze with the fragrance of roses so the next day when i woke up uh before sunrise i joined brother andre's uh, group for praying in tongues and uh, as i was praying in tongues i could feel the presence of abba father so strongly i could feel his presence and uh, my room was filled with the smell of the first shower of rains and uh, i had to actually you know look out the window to see if it was raining in dubai but no and the smell continued you know it was so 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 refreshing so good and in the afternoon sister vandana uh, she sent me the picture of the first showers of the rain in pune and uh, we are planning for holidays next friday to pune and uh, yesterday morning uh, again the holy spirit was you know uh, invoking me to get up and pray in tongues so at around 4 o'clock in the morning uh, i woke up only with a sweet smell i woke up and i thought what was this and again i went off to sleep so again i got that sweet smell and the holy spirit saying wake up it's time to you know uh, pray in tongues so i woke up i started praying in tongues in the afternoon as i was saying the uh, as i was reading the word of god there was a call from my uh, son's school so my husband received the call saying that uh, he was in close contact with uh, someone in the bus who was affected with uh, who has corona so you know as he was telling we rebuked we rebuked it because i know this is the work of the evil one he comes to steal kill especially when you are you know in the word and uh, we did not speak about it and we know it all is well all is well because the lord has taken charge and he's planned everything for us amen and uh, every morning i anoint myself my children all near and dear ones of the train group all all everyone associated to me by the precious blood of jesus and that is so so powerful and the That's lord's wonderful. presence is always with us brother always and we should only continuously seek for him thank you lord thank, thank you our father thank you lord praise you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you blanche for sharing that thank you lord and that that is all thank you jesus praise you jesus brother vivek i'll go next yes let's go um so this i actually wanted to say last week but it slipped my mind uh, i just want to give glory praise and thanks to god our lord jesus for all that he's done all that he's doing and all that he is going to continue to do in my house i can i can confidently say that we are so rooted in the word of god now and we are so reliant on him that nothing can be done without him in my house um recently i had gone to sydney and we were we went to a, a vivid show and it was really really crowded uh, one would imagine that you know you'd feel uh, oh my god with covid in on in, on such a rampant you'll feel that uh, am i going to get it but i did never i didn't feel any fear at all i kept saying lord jesus we are covered with your precious blood me and my family and i kept repeating psalm 91 7 Uh, which says that um you know a thousand may fall beside me but no harm will come to me and i think it's very important that after you say amen what happens is so important and because i can you can re- you can keep saying these prayers but if your actions don't don't um sort of marry up to those prayers that you have said then i think it makes no uh it it it's it serves no purpose so i think for me as soon as i repeated and repeated and repeated that 
I came out with that confidence that nothing is going to happen. And then we didn't, we, we, it was so crowded, but we didn't even get a sniffle. It was that it was so, it was so beautiful. The hand of God is so beautiful. Um, also this week and uh, this week, it was a really, really busy week at work. So much of pressures. And I listened to you throughout the um, uh, prayer meeting last week. And during those pressurized times at intervals during the day, you'd feel the pressure and I would just stop. And I would say, Jesus, and, okay. and the overwhelming peace that surrounds you is just like, I don't even know how I got through that day or, or it was just beautiful. Okay. Uh, I want to thank you, Brother Vivek, uh, for the beautiful the teaching Lord. for last week, the morning encounters. I, I, I have been uh, attending them and, uh, you know, and Brother Russell and Sister Shanine have been beautiful and it's such a such a wonderful way to start the day uh, with, uh, you know, with, uh, with, with praying in tongues and, 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 and in such a spirit-filled manner. And then, you know, you, you, like it sets you up, read, read Brother Savio's uh, um, ref reflections. Yes. You, you, you walk away from, you walk away knowing that there's something for, for you to do from those reflections and it sets you up for that day. And I really, I really want to thank this group for, building up the faith in each one of us uh, through these sessions, through every session uh, that we attend and, and, and making this group such a, so, you know, a, a something that we look forward to, to be part of and where we can grow as a family. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Les, for sharing that testimony. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, God bless you and your ministry, Les. You're going to bring a lot of souls for the Lord. So use that powerfully. Share these teachings with somebody in your workplace and use that name Jesus because the anointing is real. I want you all to know that. So Holy Spirit is so real. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Les, for that testimony. Okay. Yes, who else would like to testify? Uh, brother, I would like to testify in the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for that every day is blessing us with a new life. This is a big testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has changed me and my family's life. I thank you, the Lord. Every time he's there with us. Brother, yesterday, uh, my son traveled to India as his, going, his university has started and he's in third year. So as usual, brother, we prayed. We left our home. And... Uh, I prayed, I covered the luggages as we always do in the name of Jesus. Then I told the guardian angel to take care of my son, to take care of his luggage. Well, everything go in without any problem. So I, it was a quite advice. And we all know how strict it is. They don't allow one kg also inside. They will ask us, okay, remove that extra kg. So yesterday when my, uh, he was watching, he was as he was in the line. And when his turn came, he was seeing that uh, the counters, even they were asking the coaches to remove the extra luggage that they had. So when my son turns came, it was one kg for my son, more it was. But uh, I thank you, Lord, that when that counter, the lady, she saw me, she said, okay, no problem. And she just, she didn't ask my son to remove that one kg. She just let him go that uh, 47 kg that he had. So I thank the Lord that there was no problem and everything was fine and he reached safely also brethren in India. Yes. So I thank you Lord for this increasing my faith and he's thank helping you. in all my steps and my yes. family life. I thank you Lord for this. And brother yes. in the last Friday also I too got the fragrance of my Lord Jesus Christ in the church. Oh, Every well, Friday we, but we don't get that fragrance rose. But that day I really got it when the priest was lifting the body and blood of Jesus Christ. That time I had this fragrance. I had three times brother. And I thank you the Lord. Praise God. That's, that's the power of God. God. Praise God. And I want my Lord Jesus to increase more my faith so Amen. that I can bring more hope to him. I thank yes. you and praise you. Lord. Praise God. Thank you Jesus. Sir. Are you part of this uh, prayer group Anjali? Uh, brother this is my third week I have joined. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. 
and please please tell your friends as well so anyone who's not part of it russell can share that link uh, we have a telegram group we all pray together so it's a very blessed prayer group uh, you can give this prayer group as a gift to somebody it costs yeah, you nothing yeah, sure. if this link yeah. to some you just forward yes. the link and say click on it and they join and they are blessed so yeah. i mean each of us can do it right it yes, costs yes. for us to give a gift to somebody else okay yeah, yeah. and this gift is eternal so please go ahead and share yeah. this link with your friends and family sure brother sure. sure thank you anjali for that wonderful testimony praise god yeah. praise the lord praise god hello vivek this is nitya here Yeah, Nitya. Yeah. Praise, praise God. Praise God. Yeah, very quickly. Um, I want to give a testimony, but I also want to say how what God is teaching me and helping people. You know how God? It's the Bible says God is faithful. He's very faithful. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. Absolutely. And that is so important because you know when when sin hits us. and that is when it takes you away from god and god has been teaching this to me and helping me help people by saying you know when when sin hits you um the devil makes you believe that that sin is going to take you away from god and that you're not worthy enough for him and so you commit a sin and then there's another one and then you go away from the lord but as romans in romans it says um i think it's Romans 3:23 for all have sinned and fall short short of the glory of God um so if any of us in any situation and if you feel that that's happening we need to just surrender to the Lord and he's always there he's he never is the Say yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I would like to ask everyone. It is not well. Can because why did you not say? Thank you, Jesus. Yes. it have we can't hear you at all so thank you jesus praise you jesus so since the, the session is very powerful i always ask people to pray in tongues so lift up the session in tongues because it's important that you realize that there are forces that work as well other forces Hello? thank you jesus yeah nitya you are you are coming in sorry you can i can't hear you nitya can you start Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. You hear me? Is it? Yes, sorry. Uh, it's it's just coming and going. So I just it's yeah. You can try. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. It's. It's okay then. I just want to say that don't let the devil name the blood of the lamb put the devil in the place. We think that knowing that we are the children of God, and that's what God taught me. It's not so much about me, and it's about His love for me. Amen. And so I want to thank God. I want to thank this prayer group because Jesus. this prayer group helps you do that. It helps you believe that you know God is all powerful. God is all omnipotent, Amen. and it it keeps your faith going on a daily basis. I want to thank Brother Russell. I want to thank yourself. brother uh, sister jinine brother savio and and yeah no thank you yeah god i think god. my line's bad yeah no worries praise god thank you jesus yeah who would like to go and testify so for the power of god last week there are many people who got the fragrance of roses and if your life has changed more than the fragrance of roses if the holy spirit has made you pray continuously after last week's uh, session that is what i'm looking for more than just the fragrance of roses because if you have started opening the bible and reading and spraying a lot that's the power of means the holy spirit has actually come so can you please share uh that is how yeah yeah go ahead brother is saying ke brother yeah ji um in the last week i felt the presence brother 
And uh, again, when I was writing the notes twice, when I was created in the teaching again, again twice, I could I could feel the same fragrance. Yesterday it was very powerful, brother. I, 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 as I was writing, I could feel I could I was in tears. I could see tears coming out. Okay, please go. And uh, today morning, the host would ask me, normally I forward the messages, I invite people, so I usually forward them. But today, the host would uh, put me some persons in my mind to, uh, to talk to them person, in person. So um, as I was thinking of it, you called me and then we shared the same thing. So it was yes. really, uh, I think it was oneness of spirit. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Lord. And, uh, uh, after the uh, last week's anointing, I can say the whole atmosphere in the family is uh, the all the great change, brother. In every every aspect, everything we can see, I can see the Holy Spirit. Amen. I can see the work of the Holy Spirit there because the whole atmosphere was changed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this uh, such a powerful anointing. Imagine I we have so. You know, so many people should be joining. There's a power of God, the real presence of God who gives us all that we need in this life. I mean, people should know that there is nothing more than having God in your life. Okay, and they should make time for this prayer meeting. Make time to receive the body and blood of Jesus actually consecrated through his word. Okay, when we go to church, we see that actual presence of the Lord when we actually attend Mass, Holy Mass. And this prayer meeting helps you to build up that kind of faith because the word of God is spoken here. Uh, yeah, Jane, go ahead. No, but normally, from the, before when I joined the group itself, in the, I could feel the anointing. So I, I, I could feel a joy. So I, I, I couldn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And so I just started sharing scriptures. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And now I can see, I can see, I can see, I can see the anointing with the each being. Every time, or every Friday, I can see the anointing. Just increasing, increasing my faith. And I can say, it is uh, it's reflecting in all the activities. Everything I do, everything in the family itself, I can say the change there. I can, I can see the change there. Very nice. I'm so happy that people are being blessed mightily. If you're being blessed because of this prayer group, please put an amen, at least for giving glory to God if this prayer group has blessed your life or your family. So let's at least give glory to God that way. So if you know, if and this prayer uh, group... How I joined the Rosary group, my brother, I want to share that because uh, in the beginning, uh, I, will, I, will, I was not regular in the Rosary group. And on one Friday, uh, I felt little last week, like this, this is last year. I felt little weak. I could not do, I was somewhat tired. Then Holy Spirit asked me, join the rosary and immediately at the time i didn't know what the time what time of rosary was and so i texted him and asked what the time of the rosary and, and that's how i joined the rosary group with them. praise god yeah praise god thank you jane for all this wonderful testimony and god bless you and your ministry uh, for writing the word of god because see when you write that word the fragrance is alive even in that word that you read if someone goes to that teaching last week even 10 years later i'm telling you 10 years yes. from now they will get the anointing even 10 years later because the anointing does not change. Because remember, all of us are spirit and that is spirit. That's the word of God. So someone who goes to the teaching last week and just receives wants to receive that fragrance of roses, you can just go to that teaching and just listen to it and be part of that session and they'll receive it. So that is the power of God. Thank you, Jane, for that wonderful testimony. Praise God and God glory upon you and your family. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Who would like to go next and praise God? Hello, brother. I would like to praise and thank God for all he is doing in our lives. And uh, this week was a, a bit tough for me at work. Uh, but you know what? I just take the name of Jesus. And especially uh, the other day when Sister Shanine's morning encounter was uh, telling the Lord to give us more patience, uh, the fruit of patience. Yes. Uh, that day I I went to work and and like my direct because it's now I have only another five days left till I finish off. My director just came and you know she spoke very rudely, and uh, I just felt 
uh, I just felt like not I felt like leaving and going straight away but because the children were in the room I just kept my cool and I you know and then another staff came to talk to me and I had tears in my eyes and uh, so my children they're only three and a half and four years but they asked me what happened you know why are you crying and another child in my class he said uh, Veera can you put miracle worker I said, oh, yes, we have to put miracle worker. He has to come now. So he will he will fix everything for us. You know, he loves that song, Waymaker. So yeah. I quickly put it on, uh, only the instrumental, the thing. And he said, no, no, put the words. I can't hear. So I said, Nana, we'll just leave this for now. So, you know, then he asked me, are you feeling happy now? I said, yes, Jesus is here. And he's, you know, he's going to make everything right for me. And uh, I just felt that, you know, it is so true that you just take the name of the Lord and he, he will set everything right for you. Okay. And uh, even in my family, like I've seen a lot of changes. Uh, my husband joins me every day for the rosary. Uh, and even uh, one day I told my kids, I just sent them a message. I said, would you all like to join? And both of them came. They came one day, but I know they will come slowly. But I just want to praise and thank for God for that little, little small steps of bringing them close into prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Ira. Thank you for sharing that testimony. Yes, who else would like to share? Anyone else would like to share and give glory to God? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is Rashmi, your brother. Yeah, yeah, Rashmi. I would like to praise and thank the Lord for the gift of life for me and my entire family. I would like to thank Jesus for the gift of life for my daughter who celebrates her birthday today. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. She, she's far away from us in Perth, Australia, but we are close to her with praying for her every time we do it. Last year, this time only she met with a very severe accident. Uh, but we were continuously praying for her. And her car was completely the same, but not a scratch on her body. That is the grace of God. And uh, we told her that nothing happened to you was only one reason was because we were all praying for you all your aunties, your godmother, everybody, we were all continuously praying for you before your birthday. And uh, everything was fine. Now, one year has gone by. All is good with her. Got a nice job, everything. Praise and God. we are praising and thanking the Lord for uh, she's going to come down to India to get married in the oh, month wow. of January. And we are all so excited about it. And every day we are thanking the Lord and we, are, we, told, we have already said that everything is going to go well. There will be no hurdles. There will be no problems. Everything is going to be good. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you. And last week, I did not, I did not get a chance to be on the, this thing. So, because I had to go for house blessings with, my, uh, with our priest, so, with the other animators. So I could not be there. But then I heard your talk later on, brother. And it really... I could feel the fragrance of Nas in my house. There is so much of blessing. There is so much of unity. Um, otherwise, also, they are always helpful. But, you know, we rushed for the divine mercy and uh, rosary every day. We are so, you know, that time is there. Said, oh, we have to finish all these jobs and be there in time for the divine mercy and rosary to participate in it fully, mentally and physically over there. So I thank the Lord for all these blessings. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I was even touched by Brother Newton's uh, testimonies. It made me cry the previous week and I couldn't speak at all after that. I, was, I wanted to give a testimony, but I was so touched by his testimony that I just bursted out crying and I was not able to speak at all. So that's the reason I could not give a testimony last time. Praise, Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise
Hello, brother. Uh, this is yes. Jude with you. Yeah, Jude. I uh, just want to thank God. My son was there after his graduation was almost for one and a half year, two years home. After so much of, you know, counseling and, uh, and the telling, making him understand it was, it was just going down the drain and nothing was helping us to help him out, you know, to take up a job, you know, to instead of being at home and waiting for his choice of job. Uh, anyway, after we kept on praying, believing the words, you know, we keep, yeah, keep the, we had the scriptures in our mind and we always kept on studying the scriptures. And by the grace of God, the gift of the Holy Spirit, my son signed the offer letter just last Monday and is very happily going to work. And when he comes home, also he's so excited about what happened every day at work in his office. And was so happy, he was so happy about it that he had made up his mind that he's taken a different line, but he's happy. End of the day, he's happy with what he has taken and he's completely satisfied with the job. Praise God. Thank God for everything. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jude. Beautiful testimony. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, come on, share. If, if God has done something wonderful for your life, do not stop it. If there is an anointing that touched you last week, do not stop it. If there's the word of God that has touched you, do not stop it. You can't. I mean, you've got to give glory to God. It's compulsory, I would say, because it's God who is being glorified here. So, Somebody's life is being blessed by your testimony. So if the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, just unmute and just talk. He will put the words in your mouth. Anyone else would like to testify? Hello. Uh, brother, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Too. Hello, Brother Vivek. Yeah. Yes, you are. Uh, I'm in the office right now, but yeah, I'm in the office right now. I just take two minutes to give my testimony regarding my transfer. Remember, I yes. said I, I had written it out. Yes. Uh, yeah, I just want to give God all the glory after 18 months of a lot of struggle and almost thought of quitting my job. I, I mean, you know what I've gone through. Uh, God has finally answered my prayer and I got my transfer. And Great. now I'm in, in, in my office, just just about four kilometers away from my home. Wow. So I really want to thank God. I want to thank uh, thank Brisbane Prayer Group for all the patience that they had with me because I remember I used to call up and I used to cry with you. And you try yeah. to reason out so many reasons, like change your location, change your place. And I mean, and I don't know. It was like an impossible thing to happen. But uh, what I want to emphasize more is that I got the help from the people unexpected, the people who didn't like me, yes. the union. Praise God. The main, the main union leader who didn't, didn't even like me, who couldn't even stand me because I don't know what reasons. He only pushed my case and got me transferred just before the heavy rains and, you know, it's much such a relief for me right now, although it's a new new place and everything, but I'm so stress free right now with this. Praise God. I'm for happy you. that I know that yeah, after 18 months I said I quietly I said I just put the headphones on right now and I said I must I must verbally give God glory. Just writing it down doesn't work out so well, but Praise. I want to testify and thank God for this great miracle and another thing to testify that my son also post graduated with a very good percentage for veterinary medicine in special uh, critical care medicine so it was another triumph and God's blessings I'm so happy with, and I realized like you know with all this I should thank God for all these small small blessings we keep rumbling 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 so I just want to thank God, brother. Thank you so much, especially. Uh, I want to thank you, uh, brother Russell, uh, sister Vandana, sister Shani, Savio Janela. They all, all stood by me. They listened to all my tantrums and I should keep crying, crying. Thank you so much for bearing up with me too. God Harish, bless you, Lord. You. I thank can't you, talk right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll no. try. Yeah, I'll yeah, try to attend the thing, but I'm yeah. off. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you so much, Perfect. Brother Roy. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 
Vivek from Malaya. Yeah, from Malaya. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to add on to what Jude mentioned about my son. That you know we were struggling for literally two years, one and a half two years, getting him to do something because he was just wiling his time doing nothing. And I suddenly realized, you know, that uh, what he wanted to do was one thing, and I was guiding him something else. And Jude wanted him to get into another industry, but what the Lord has planned is something not any of us wanted. It was something totally different. Something we didn't even think of. He's working for Marcus Evans, and he's so happy and excited when he comes home. It's a different thing. And I said, Lord, what I wanted him to do, and Jude wanted him to do, and what he had himself wanted to do is so different. And what where you have placed him is completely different. And I've observed that there is a lot of. changes that he needed in his uh, daily life is coming because of the job that he is going to like for example he would always like to stay back late and be on the computer it would go to 1 2 3 and at times we would not be able to sleep because we would be always worried by is he awake so late and he would never listen even if we would ask him to sleep early but now with his job he just goes to sleep early he wakes up early morning I don't know last when he seen the early morning because he would wake up straight in the afternoon, and uh, we were like we would just quote the scriptures and want that change which we are seeing that through this job, all the changes that we wanted him to have uh, in his life, whether it was time of sleep, whether it was everything else, and uh, he has you know even distanced himself from his friends who. we were not too happy about but we were not saying anything because we had just left it to the lord's hand but i have observed that over the time he has distanced himself and he is starting to get focus on what he wants to do and through this job and you know everything that he is excited about there are a lot of personal changes coming in him which uh, in his personal uh, time table which we are so happy about it and we are praising and thanking god so much Uh, of all that he has done for us and he is doing for us amen thank, thank you jeevan thank you thank, thank you jeevan thank you pramila thank you for sharing that wonderful testimony the lord is so real to everyone thank you jesus and this is so wonderful so nobody has thanked the lord for being alive today so i am thanking the lord thank you lord for keeping all of us alive to attend this prayer meeting that's the biggest my miracle and that we take for granted Uh, and for the precious blood of Jesus upon everyone who is there in this prayer group and their families, thank and praise you, Lord, for the wonderful week you gave us, and for everything, the air that we breathe, the house that we have, the food on our table, the job that we do, for our spouses, for our children, for everyone we come in contact with, we thank and praise you. And wherever we could share the gospel and give glory to God, that's the best thing we can do. And even if we can save one soul for Christ, if one person has come, we give glory to God.